Hello viewers, welcome to another tutorial by Project Maker. In this video, I will demonstrate you my new created project which is fake news detection using various machine learning classification models. So without wasting any time, let's start. So now let's move to our destination folder. As you can see, this is our destination folder and there are multiple CSV file and one mini project file as you can see. I have implemented this project in Jupyter Notebook. So I will be demonstrating this project in Jupyter Notebook. To open the project in Jupyter Notebook, we have to follow some basic steps. So for that, I will open command prompt in this folder. And in CMD, I will just type Jupyter Notebook, which will open Jupyter Notebook in front of me. So as you can see, the same folder has opened in Jupyter Notebook and our project was ML Mini Project so I will just click on it. Before implementing the project we should import all the required modules. So let's explore some of the modules. So first module is of pandas which is used to input dataset in our program. After that numpy module. This module is used to perform mathematical calculations. After that we will be using train test built method of SQL and package. This method will be useful to break dataset for training and testing purpose. After that to generate a classification report we will be requiring classification report method of SQL and package. Then import ray. Ray package is useful for cleaning the dataset. So we will be using this module to cleaning our text data. After that strings. In this project, we will be dealing with various strings, so for that it is necessary to import these modules. And lastly but not least, the matplotlib module. This module will help us to visualize our dataset. So now, let's start. Our first step is used to import the dataset in our program. So, you can download this dataset from the link mentioned here. I have provided the link of this dataset in description along with the Jupyter file so if you remember there were two excel files called title as fake and true in our destination folder so we will be importing the same in our main program using read underscore csv command we will be using data.head function which will return the top five values from both the excel files and i use the same function to display the output of data.true and data.fake file after that we will be checking the size of dataset. So to check the size of dataset, a shape method is used. So I use the same method to check the size of dataset. So as you can see, the true Excel file has two one four one seven rows and four columns, and fake Excel file has two three four eight one rows and four columns. In the next step, we will be adding one column in both the dataset for classification purpose. So to do that I have just used data underscore true and add written a class name and give value as one. So this means that in true data set we a new column will be added and the values of that column will be one. In the similar way in fake database a column name class will be added and the value of that column will be zero. So after that we will be simply taking 10 values for manual testing from both the datasets. So for that I have simply used tail method. And after that I have just removed those 10 values from the original dataset. In the similar way I have also taken last 10 values from fake dataset and removed those 10 values from original dataset. Then after that I have simply merged this 20 values that I have taken from both the datasets and merge in the new CSV file called as manual testing that we have seen in our destination folder. Our next step is to merging the main two datasets. So I have done the same using pd.concat method and just pass the two variable names in which we have put in the main datasets and just display the top 10 values of dataset. So as you can see these are the values. Our next step is to perform some basic visualizations. So for data visualization, I use the group by method so which will display the articles per subject to me in form of bar chart. So the output is this as you can see. After that I have just created a pie chart which will visualize the 
amount of fake news and true news with us so as you can see so this was all about data visualization now let's move ahead so to perform the fake news detection we will be reviewing the unwanted columns so in this case uh, we don't require title subject and date column so simply we will be removing them from our manual testing.csv file using that drop command as you can see so our next step will be shuffling the data set so i will use the sample method for to shuffle the data set as you can see and the data set is shuffled if we compare the previous data set here so after shuffling the data set we will be checking if there is some null values in data set or not and hopefully there is no null value in a data set so after that we will be requiring a filtering function which will remove all the unwanted text from our text paragraph for that i have just written the filtering function and use ray package for data filtering as you can see i have used this function for our text field as you can see and the and also printed the top 10 values here and as you can see the data is filtered it, it is in lower case and all the semicolon full stop punctuation marks are removed from our data after that our main step is to create an independent variable and dependent variable so in this situation our independent variable will be text and our dependent variable will be class in the next step we will be splitting our database in, into 25% and 75% for training and testing purpose so 75% will be for training purpose and remaining 25% will be for testing purpose after splitting the data set we need to vectorize the text so for that we will be using feature extraction module so basically this vectorizing text will return the data set which is understandable by machine learning algorithm so this will be helpful for classification of fake news and true news so for that i have imported the sklender feature extraction model dot text and i will be using tfidf vectorizer method after importing this package i have simply created an object and use the fit transform method which gives a statistical result that how important is a particular word to our data set so after performing the vectorization of text we will be jumping to the main part of our project which is classification so in this case we will be using four classification so let's start so let's take a look to the first classification which is logistic regression logistic regression is basically used to calculate the probability of event so i inputted this classification method from sql and as you can see on the screen after that i have simply created a object of this variable as lr we will be using this variable to fit our model and pass the variable as x train and y train for training purpose after training purpose we will determine the score which is accuracy score and it is 0.99 which means it is 99 percent accurate then we will perform the prediction as you can see using lr.predict method and we will simply print the classification report of our prediction so as you can see the precision recall f1 score and all other details are displayed on the screen so it is approximately 99 percent accurate then after that we will visualize in the same concept using confusion matrix so for that i have imported confusion matrix from a scalar method and just passed our testing data set and the prediction data set and see this method has written us a confusion matrix as 5036 which is true positive 50 to 46 which is true negative and so on and i also visualized the same using using seaborn package so this was our first classification method now let's move to the second classification method second classification method is decision tree classification method it is a non-parametric supervised learning method used for both classification and regression tasks steps will perform logistic regression are repeated in this model also just i have imported the decision declare classification model created object of it use fit method to training testing purpose determine the score calculated accuracy and display the classification report and also represented in confusion matrix as you can see 
Then our third classification method is gradient boosting classifier. It is a group of machine learning algorithms that combines many weak learning models together to create a strong predictive model. I imported this method from SQLN package, created object, fitted the data set for training testing purpose, predicted the score, accuracy result and displayed the classification report along with confusion matrix as you can see. Then our next one is random forest classifier which is our fourth and last classifier. Random forest classifier method is a supervised machine learning algorithm used for classification, regression and other tasks using decision trees. Then we have simply inputted this classification method from a scale and package, created the object of it, used fit method to train training and testing purpose after that predicted the score, calculated the accuracy, displayed the classification report and the last confusion matrix of above result. See, then the main part of this project which is manual testing. So we will be performing some manual testing here. So for that I have simply used two methods output labels which is simply written the outputs of above four prediction models and then I have created a function called as manual testing and I have passed the news which I will be providing through user input mode. So now let's test our model. So I will just click on kernel here and just click restart and run all which will restart my program and run from the first cell. I will just click restart and run all. So as you can see our program has run successfully till cell number 45 and false cell number 46 it requires a user input so for that i have two exercise fake and true so now let's move the fake and i will just copy text of any news and just paste it here and just hit enter so as you can see our four models has predicted that it is a fake news so our model is working 100 percent accurately so now let's test for a true news so i will just move to our true excel file and just copy any text from here for verification purpose go to jupyter and simply paste this news here and just hit enter and as you can see the prediction of both more four models is true news so our project is working fine so this was our entire project about fake news detection, hope you enjoyed this project. So here comes the end of our project demonstration. If you like this video then please don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and family members. And if you face any queries while performing any operation in this project you can simply text me in comment section below or so here comes the end of this video. Thanks for watching this video.